Hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you the H2O OK Plus Complete Water Analysis Kit. You can see here it includes lead, bacteria, and pesticide tests. So this tests for 13 dangerous water contaminants and unwanted conditions. Lead, total coliform bacteria, pesticides, total chlorine, total hardness, iron, pH acidity, total alkalinity, copper, iron bacteria, nitrates, nitrites, and hydrogen sulfide. You can see on the side here, it says, know what is in your water, easy to use, immediate results, and EPA standards. By Lab Tech, backed by over 80 years experience. Made in USA. And let's see here on the back what it says. 23 total drinking water quality tests. And that, sorry, I opened it up and then I was like, I want to do a video on this. So Lab Tech Drinking Water Analysis Kit Plus is a comprehensive home testing kit providing you with an easy, quick, and accurate evaluation of the safety of your family drinking water. Contaminants, chemicals, and unwanted conditions can be found in everyday drinking water. Whether you live in the country with your own well or use city-supplied water, these health hazards can be present in your drinking water. So again, this is a lab tech drinking water analysis kit plus. You can scan this QR code here to learn more about water testing. Just has some information. Sorry, I like to read the back and anybody that's um, interested in this, I'm sure that you would find this uh, helpful. Easy, illustrated, bilingual instructions and everything you need. Just add water. Looks pretty easy enough. This is going to be the first time that I am doing this. In here, okay, so it tests for lead. And then at the top, it says possible, what does that say? Possible source. Okay, so lead, possible source, home and city water pipes. Potential problem, mental, oh, okay. So that's the potential problem it can cause. Again, doing this for the first time, you're gonna see me test my water. Total coliform bacteria, possible source, feces, sewage. Okay, possible problem, diarrhea, dysentery, viruses, diarrhea. Wow, okay. Pesticides, possible source, field runoff. Possible problem, chronic health issues. Total chlorine. Possible source, over, over chlorination, potential problem, cancer. It tests for total hardness, possible source, naturally occurring, potential problem, pipe scales, what does that say? Pipe scales and reduces soap suds. So iron, possible source, geological formations, potential problems, fixture, and laundry stains, metallic taste, pH, acidic. So the possible source is naturally occurring and the potential problems is plumbing system failure. So total alkalinity naturally occurring is the possible source and the potential problems is dry skin and alkali taste. The next one is, let's see here, copper, possible source, leaching home pipes. And the potential problems is bitter taste, stomach illness, and stains. Iron bacteria, possible source, naturally occurring. Wow, this is crazy. Potential problems, rotten smell, clogged plumbing. Wow. Nitrates, possible source, AG runoff, septic leakage. Potential problems, blood disorders. The test for hydrogen sulfide, potential source, sulfur, sulfur bacteria, potential problems, rotten smell and taste, nausea. Wow. That is just crazy to me. So anyways, um, I'm not having any issues with my water at all. I was just like, you know what? I wonder, you know, because you know how like... <laughs>
if you actually have public water, which I have public water, you get a report in the mail from the water company every so often, and it tells you all the stuff that's in your water. And then it tells you how your water is safe and it's fine. But when you're reading the report and you see everything, and then it tells you what percentage the safe the safe percentage, but all that stuff's still in the water, you're like, oh, wow, that's just terrible. So anyways, I just wanted to get this and see what it says. Okay, so I just opened it, and this is everything that is in the package. So we have the drinking water test, pesticides, and lead. The pouch contains the following. One lead test strip, one pesticide test strip, one test vial, and one dropper pipette. I didn't know there was this much stuff to it. I kind of just thought it was just one test and you just test your water samples. So I had no idea, but it does seem um, pretty extensive. So we have a tablet in here. You can see it says the four ounce fill line and then it has 100 ml fill line. Okay, we have this tube with um, a tablet in it. We have this one that does not have a lid. Uh, we have this chart here, total hardness, total chlorine, alkalinity, pH, nitrite, nitrate, copper, iron. You can see the different color shades. And on the back here, total coliflor and bacteria color chart, detected, not detected. Okay, we have the read complete instructions before beginning tests. Wash hands after, before and after testing. So we have that. We have this here, which is the H2O OK Plus drinking water analysis results. Oh, OK. So if you just want to write down the results for your records, a tip, if you do write down the results here, take a picture on your phone because if you lose this, you'll have the picture on your phone. OK, and then we have the test here. So we have the copper test, another copper test, iron test. Iron test. What does that say? Six tests and six tests. All right, I am going to read the instructions and let's get started. Okay, so I filled up the tube. Again, this is the six test one. So I'm supposed to dip it for two seconds and then shake it lightly and read immediately. So one, two, shake it. And we are going to read it immediately. Okay, so here is the iron test on the Benjamin Bunny book here. Okay, and this is the lead and pesticide testing. All right, so I completed my water testing. I know I didn't show every single test. It is quite extensive, so again, make sure you read the instructions in detail because some tests you have to wait different amounts of time, but I really think that this is good. I do, I did find out they do have digital testing for some tests. I didn't see all of these available for like a digital test, but I did see they do have some meters for water testing, so if you don't want to have to worry about the colors for everything there are some of the digital available but again that's um and i don't know if it's the h2o k plus i didn't see these ones being digital it was like other random meters that i did just did a quick search online uh, but again this was the h2o k plus complete water analysis kit thanks for watching and please share the video